And we hope that by using the house as a microcosm, you know, the, the story will resonate in much larger ways. I mean, it's, it's very significant for Gurinda and, and I that we, the world premieres in Berlin, you know, so it's a city that knows about mm -hmm. being partitioned. And you look at the film in the time of, of Syria and Trump and, and yeah. Brexit in some ways and all these other things, and you hope that a, that a very specific story will resonate in a much larger way yeah, for, I think, for international audiences. Sorry, Paul. I think that for me now, sitting here, when we started making the film, there was no talk of Brexit. There was no talk of somebody like Trump ever being prime, um, president. There was nothing. We were just, seven years ago, it was a very different world when we started making the film. So now at the other end, even when we were editing, you know, even when we were shooting the film, Syria was happening the, the day we were shooting these scenes with a thousand extras as refugees, we felt very bad because we were shooting these refugees, but it was that morning that the little boy had been found washed up on the beach. And so we were looking at these news images on, you know, on our phones, and here we were with refugees 70 years later. So it was getting very real for us, um, what we were shooting, in terms of the resonance for today. And then when we were editing the film in London, my editor was Italian, uh, Valerio, and suddenly Brexit happened, something we none of us ever imagined would happen. Suddenly we were dealing with our own partition in London, and my editor was distraught because he was married to an English woman, had two children, didn't know what was gonna happen to him, his family, his future. And so once again, we were living, the film was alive again today, and then now, today, here we are releasing the film at a time where the politics of hate and division are so prevalent and are defining not just America at the moment, but here in Europe. Which Lord Mark Barton's family had got at that time. Was it? It was exaggerated uh, to some... I, I would just want to say that um, I think for all that it is, a story that shows epic decisions and epic tragedy, human tragedies, ultimately, through all that bleakness that is alluded to, it does come down and bring into focus the simplicity of human lives and the fact that at the very end, in this most unlikely of endings, which was actually one of the uh, certifi certifiable facts of the film, of two people finding each other in a refugee camp, uh, long after the events had taken place um, and that actually turning out through fiction to become the fact of, of Gurinder's uh, grandparents, I think uh, brings it into focus that, that, that despite this backdrop of uh, seismic shifts both in humanity or humanitarian need and indeed shifts of geographical uh, humanitarian location, um, there are seeds of hope and I think even in these ghastly times that we're living in, um, let's cling on to those moments of two people finding each other and building a future. Your film that really tends to be 